Hey guys, what's going on? Tennessee Frank here bringing you another look at another Linux distro. This time we are going to take a look at Elementary OS. Um, and it kind of runs in the same vein as the last one we looked at, the Endless OS. Um, although this one kind of gives you more of the impression of like a Mac rather than it does Android or a, a Chromebook. But uh, yeah, you can see it's it's fairly simple here. You know, you got your volume controls, got your calendar here. You can set up. Um, applications are fairly sparse out of the box. Uh, you got an app center, so you can install more stuff. They give you a calculator, calendar. You can control your webcam. Um, they give you a thing where you can uh, do code. I guess like Python and stuff. If you wanted to do any coding. You have Epiphany for your web browser, which I personally have never used. Um, you got your files, which we can open, take a quick look at. And, you know, it's just the basic same, uh, same uh, usual suspects here. Documents, downloads, music, you know, same stuff. Now, you will notice there's a, a bar here to, to make it larger and smaller, and you can close your window over here. Um, but as far as like if you wanted to minimize your window, you got to find a spot somewhere on the bar here. Right click, and then you can hit minimize, and it'll come right down here into your dock. So that's how you minimize, and then of course close, you can do right there. Um, but we'll go ahead and uh, go back into here. They do give you a mail client, which I'm not even really sure which one it is. Let's open it. Um, huh, not sure which mail client that is, and I, I don't want to set it up, so we're not going to mess with it, but it is there if you use a mail client. Uh, I do all my mail online. Uh, they do have what they call a multitask view. That's basically your, your extra desktops. Um, music player, which will open it, and uh, you can add music from your library. And I am not even really sure which music player this is. Preferences. Yeah, I don't even really have a clue which music player they're using. Uh, they do have a photo editing software, which we can look at it. You can add some photos here. It's like I said, it's just very, very basic stuff. Screenshots. You can take a screenshot. You got your system settings, which is uh, where you can get to like you change your desktop. Say you wanted to change a wallpaper, you know. Let's say that that wallpaper is driving you nutty, and you wanted to go to something else. We'll we'll go to that one there. That looks kind of nice. There's appearance, you know, window animation, panel translucency. Here you can do you know change your dock size. You go larger, normal, smaller whatever you wanted to do and uh, they do have a hot corner setting which none of those are set uh, keyboard mouse touchpad power which I've already gone in here and set it to never I don't like things shutting down when I am in the middle of things uh, you can add your printer I did my updates and finally got my display set so I could get a decent resolution uh, it was kinda set at uh, 800 by 6 but once I did all my updates and rebooted, I was able to, to change around. Uh, your network, online account, sharing, date and time, parental controls, which can be nice, and then your user accounts. Uh, there's your terminal. We do have terminal. And uh, video. So, yeah, there's this. They, they don't give you a whole lot of stuff out of the box. And uh, we can go ahead and open a terminal. And let me see if I can increase the font size. Um, yeah, here we go. There we go. Get it up where we can see what we got here. Get it big enough. Uh, we'll do a uh, U name tag A. And you can see they're running a fairly old kernel at this point in time. Um, still running 415. Which, uh, if you're up on Linux, you know we're like into the 5s or 5.2s by now. 
So it is a fairly old kernel, uh, should be stable. And uh, you could probably go in here and change things around, make it look a little nicer, I think. But uh, it's just, it's a very, very basic system. Uh, we can show you the App Center real quick. And like I said, I don't like that. I don't like things opening up when I don't ask them to. Um, but there's uh, audio, accessories, communication, finance, education, graphics, games. Um, it's, it's all pretty much here. I mean, we can go in video. You can see they got some, you know, fairly different, uh, different software. And like I said, they're, they're running the Ubuntu Software Center for the most part. Elementary does have some of its own repositories. Um, here's Simple Screen Recorder. That's good to see. Um, I'm not seeing Caden live on here. I'm not really looking for it that much, though. Let me see. Yeah, I don't see Caden live. Uh, we can go ahead. Let me pull open Terminal again. Let me see if we can get Caden live. Put in my super secret password here. Yeah, it's there. Um, it just wasn't listed in their software center. So, uh, because they're pulling from the Ubuntu repositories, I would be willing to bet that just about anything you want will be there. Um, don't always look for it, though, in their uh, software center, because it might not be there. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're looking for something relatively simple and, uh, you know, you're not really into computers a whole lot, you just want to mainly get online, check your email, maybe hit up some YouTube videos or whatever, this might not be a bad system. Um, <clears throat> I know for me, it's a little bit simplistic. I'm not trying to say that, you know, like I'm just God's gift to Linux or nothing. Far from it. Um, I still got a ton I need to learn about the Linux operating system. But I just like something that's a little more full-featured. Um, something like my KDE desktop, where I can kind of tweak it and, and do things with it that I need to do. I mean, because, you know, it's a fairly simple, simple system. I mean, you got to gotta pretty much... Uh, you know, admit here, we'll minimize that. You know, you're you're getting really not a whole lot out of the box, you know. You you get a calculator, a screenshot, one photo editor, one mail client, a browser, which is Epiphany, I'd rather have Firefox, no real office suite, which you'd have to install LibreOffice. Um they give you a little something for programming. You got your, you know, your camera, music and videos, and then some system tools, and that's about it. So it's it's very very limited as far as uh, what you get. Uh, as soon as this is done installing, give it another minute here, and we'll do HTOP. I wanted to see how heavy this thing is running. Um, they're using the Pantheon desktop which to my understanding is kind of a fork of GNOME 3. Um, they, they took GNOME 3 and, and kind of tweaked it and made it look a little bit different. So yeah, now we're two minutes. We'll go ahead, let me go ahead and control C. We'll, we'll get out of that. Uh, if I could spell, um, I don't think HTOP, yeah, HTOP's in here by default. 546 meg, mm, not bad. I would bet cold boot it would be a little less. That's still, that's not bad. Um, 546, I mean, I, I could live with that. But like I said, there, there's no, no buttons. I'm used to my buttons to close on the right side. Our close button's over here on the left. Yeah, want to quit it? But yeah, this is just a, a kind of a quick look at another Linux distro and if you want something simple it, it only comes in 64-bit uh, I believe so you're not going to be throwing this on your netbooks your little Atom 32-bit netbooks 64-bit based on Ubuntu 
Pantheon desktop. Fairly simple system if you just want something basic. This may be for you. This may be perfect. There's, like I said, a guy on YouTube. This is his daily driver. He loves it. Um, for me, it's a little bit simple. But to each his own. I mean, uh, it's, a, it's another option. It's free to download and try, which is the beauty of Linux. Uh, you don't have to pay anything for it. So if you get it and install it, find out you don't like it, no harm, no foul. Download something else and give it a try. So uh, like I always say, either we stand up for our rights or we can sit by and watch them go away. Hope you uh, enjoyed this little uh, look at Elementary OS Juno, uh, Elementary OS 5 Juno. And we'll be talking to you. Tennessee Frank out of here.